Hi, my name is Josh Bruce and welcome back to part two of this UI table view screencast. So let's get stuck in and crack on. So last time we were in our master table view controller .m, and we're going to head back over to our storyboard first and we're in our objects library. We're going to go all the way down to the bottom and drag out the search bar and search display controller and I'm going to place this just above our prototype cells and in here I'm just going to change a few of the properties so placeholder search for something just going to enter a placeholder and then I'm going to bring up the assistant editor and control while holding control drag from the UI search bar into our master table view controller dot m dot h sorry and I'm going to give this a name of search bar. Save that. Then we're going to head over to our master table view controller dot H and up here next to the UI table, uh, table view controller subclass in angle brackets, we're going to have the UI search bar delegate change this to non-atomic and strong instead of weak should have done that when we placed it never mind now over to our view controller table view controller m and we're going to change a few things so first off sections can stay the same but the number of rows in a section we need to change we need to first off detect whether we're in the regular view controller or the search display table view controller because this has everything built into it. So first off we're going to check if table view is equal to self dot table view then we're going to do something else we're going to do something else. So if it's the table view we're just going to return our usual count otherwise we're going to return our results count because we only need the count of the results that we're actually searching for but before we do that we actually need to create our own method so below here the did receive memory warning we're going to create avoid search through data and in here we're going to set our results array to nil and then what we're going to create what's known as an NS predicate. And we're going to give this a name of star results predicate. And this is equal to an NS predicate predicate with format NS string. And then in here, we need to do self contains. And then in square brackets, search space percent at. Close the quotes. And then a comma. And after the comma, we need to do self dot search bar dot text. So basically, what this is doing is getting the text that we enter into the search bar, and it's creating this NS predicate and self contains. The search and this search parameter will be replaced by the text that's in our search field. So on the next line, we're going to do self dot results is equal to self dot objects filter filtered array using predicate. So we're filtering through this NS mutable array using our results predicate. And we're going to make it a mutable copy. And that's that method done. So right above here, we need to call that method so we can actually populate the results array. So self search through data. And then to actually detect when 
our search bar is being typed into with some text. We need another method void search bar. Search bar texted change. And then in here, we just need to call self search through data, our custom method. Right, now moving on to our table view self error index path. In here, we actually need to check if the cell exists. So if not cell, then we need to create a new cell. So cell equals UI table view cell alloc in it with style UI table view cell style and it was the default one and the reuse identifier is cell identifier and then below it we need to set our accessory type as well because that won't be set if we create a cell via the code so accessory type equals UI table view cell accessory disclosure indicator so now we have our cell so if it's not created here it's going to be created here and now we need to check again like we did up here if we're in our table view or if we're in our search table view so if table view equals self dot table view and we'll place this one in here what's happening else we're going to do something else so cell dot text label dot text is equal to self dot results index path dot row so if we're in the original table view we're going to use our original objects if we're in our search table view we only want to do display the results that match the search string we don't want to display anything from the original array which is why we use the search array so that's that method updated now right before we do that we actually need to change this here so rather than this being for index path, we need to change this to table view DQ reusable cell with identifier and that's it. So if we delete that and now if we hit run again, now we start typing, you can see the results coming up. So great, let's cancel that. But if you click this, nothing happens. So stop that and now in here let's get rid of that I'll get rid of some of that white space down here in here we need to only check if we're actually in the search display controller we don't want to do anything if we're in our regular table view so if self dot search display controller dot is active then we're going to self perform segue with identifier and this was show details sender we're going to send our self along with it and now down to the prepare for segue method this is why we created these two local variables is because we're going to wrap this in an if statement so if self dot search display controller is active we're going to do something else we're going to do this let's give that some space so in here our index path is equal to self dot search display controller dot search results table view Sorry, remove that dot. Close the square bracket and then index path for selected row. And then our object is self.results. 
index path dot row. And now this will work exactly the same as it did in the normal table view. So before we run, we actually need to change this here, just part that, save and run. Click Google, it clicks to Google, search, type in Apple, and we segue over to Apple, and we go back to our search results. So that concludes this screencast for our table view controller with search. This has been a video by the Dev Lounge. Please like us on Facebook forward slash the Dev Lounge. Follow us on Twitter at the Dev Lounge. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and like the video down below. Also subscribe to the channel and please feel free to leave any comments down in the comments section below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.